just maybe three years again I tell you I don't keep track of time and I again may have used it within the last two or three years of me owning it I, again uh, I don't know six times seven times eight times I really don't know but I know it's not a lot I'll come over here and I may have to cut a piece of plastic you know to use it for something or a little piece of metal I, I don't use it a lot this is the first time that I really started using it if you want to say a lot a lot you know, I may use it every day for, well, two or three, four minutes, whatever it takes. <clears throat> but again, that wouldn't consider it a lot. Um, and this starts to wander out. No matter what I put in there, it starts to wander out. We are. Let me turn the fan on. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at. So I called, not called, but I was talking via text on YouTube to Dark Matter. And he said he doesn't have that problem, but he uses um, the motor that hangs, which I used to have one of those many years ago in my shop. Uh, and the one he has... Uh, apparently he bought it from Harbor Freight and he says as long as he keeps the cable clean and well oiled or lubed um, he hasn't had any problems with it well that's the same cable believe it or not that they use for that um, little buffer not the buff yeah it's like a little buffing grinding wheel there I'll show you <coughs> this thing I bought this came home with it said oh let me try it I was, it used to be over there. <clears throat> I forgot what I was trying to do, but the inner cable broke. I call him on the phone. I tell him. They said, well, just bring it back and we'll give you another one. I right, bring it back. They give me another one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was it because it happened twice. Cable broke again. I went back. <clears throat> I bought another one because I don't normally do this. But you know what? You play with these. You got. You got to play the game. And I, and I, I felt bad doing it. If you know me, you know that I normally don't do these things. But I bought another one. Walked out the door with it. Went and had lunch. Came back, and said, "It didn't have the cable with it. Here's the whole thing back again." And then I got a refund on the one that I bought the day before. So that's this one. Don't you think this cable broke? Now, I'm not rough with my tools. You know, you're grinding with it. In this case, this is what I do with this one. It has a sanding disc on it most of the time. The cable breaks. I said, I'm not going through this again. So I call them, and I get a hold of their parts department parts department tells me we don't sell that part you have to research it on the internet and try to find it there I go what I have to research it on the internet and try to find it you have no place no references no you're gonna have to research it yippee D well as you can see this is not the right one Actually, this one's a little bit longer. I was looking at the Grizzly catalog. Now, now that you kind of see this, I'm going to go back over here. I'm looking through the Grizzly catalog, and they have one of these units. 
not the same one, you know, even though they're probably all made. But So I said, I called them up and I said, listen, I says, I have one of your units. I says, and uh, the cable broke, so what do I got to do to get another cable? She goes, oh, we can order that for you. She says, it'll probably take a couple of weeks, but we can order it for you. I said, oh, great. I'm putting you on a magnetic mount here, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. And now we're just cleaning off the head. So, uh, I said, great. So she said, uh, what model was it? I said, what's the one you got in the catalog? Oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Two weeks go by, I get a call saying that it just came in to them and that they would be sending it out to me. Uh, I think it was $17, I'm not positive. And I said, okay, great. So they send it out, I get it. It doesn't fit. The inner cable doesn't fit because <coughs> inside that there's a there's another cable uh, and that didn't fit and the outer one didn't fit to the machine so now I had to kind of take the two of them to make one of them fit and that's where you see that little that little dip like because there are two different fittings and what I did was I have I may have another one over there someplace. If you go into the electrical department of Home Depot, they sell a uh, connector with a big old piece of heavy duty shrink wrap, uh, or heat shrink rather. And that's what that was. I think I got one more over here. If I can get my arm through here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, let me drop something else on the ground. And uh, I use that, and that's what you're seeing there, to hold those two pieces together. And luckily, it's been working. Now, does that mean that if you buy the one from Grizzly, you're not going to have any problems? I don't know, but I can tell you if you buy the one from Grizzly, at least they can get the parts for you. Uh, for the one that they have. So... But anyway, getting back to Dark Matter. <coughs> he gave me the name and everything of the one that he has. And that Home Depot, um, Harbor Freight doesn't sell it anymore. But you can buy him on Amazon for like 70 bucks or so. So I checked it out and I seen it there. And I said, I'm gonna look through the reviews because I want to know about this cable because I've already had problems with Harbor Freight and their cables <clears throat> and everybody seems to be asking about these cables uh, flex shafts but they're not getting any positive or direct answers so I started looking at a few other ones in another machine and they said it was uh, $20 more or somewhere thereabouts and uh, there was something on it where somebody answered we will replace the cable within the first three months the cable oh, and the foot pedal so apparently they have a problem with the first foot switch uh, within the first three months so I clicked on it it was Janet was the name that put this answer to the question. So I click on that and it brings me to a page to where there's nothing you can do there. So are they just jerking you around or what? I mean, again, what do you do? Uh, well, at least with Amazon, you can go to Amazon and say, hey, whoa. But uh, what do you do? I'm afraid to buy Dremel because, again, you spend a lot of money for this thing. Oh, I gotta get over there and make coffee. That's what I started to do. You spend a lot of money for it. Uh, and lately, they haven't been doing uh, like they used to. 
Now they, they used to be good. Now, you, uh, if you call them, you'll get somebody here in the country. And I'm sure that you can get parts. I never asked. But it seems like since they started outsourcing them to Mexico, their quality control seems to have gone down the tubes. So you want to spend three hundred bucks for something that isn't going to be any better than the one you bought for a hundred bucks. You know, it's really sucks when you can't get your money's worth anymore. I mean, it's worse than the scams. It's a legal scam. That's what it seems like. Whoops. That ain't gonna work. There. Yeah. Alright, let's go back over here while that uh, is uh, doing its thing. Alright, anyway, let me get this little piece done. worked out a little bit already. this side, but this side I need a couple of wedges. This one isn't working. Oh, now we're not going to loosen up? Oh, great. I think Proxon will probably be 
if I have to buy a Prius and spend money, meaning more than a hundred bucks, I think uh, it's going to be a Proxon if they make one. They're made in Germany. Germany, as a rule, always made good stuff. I mean, they made one of the best tanks out there. And they still have respect for their product. The only thing is, I think I'm going to have to deal with these assholes in Georgia. And I don't mean everybody in Georgia being an asshole, but the distributor for the, this company is in Georgia.